The motherland has turned her back on us. Exiled to a wasted land. Brothers and sisters betrayed. Was the meek cling to power? Is it just? Bulwark the world relies on? Does it make us weak? To witness endless loss? Do we falter? Alrighty, so what's going on everybody? This is Sky Clan here. So today, today we're actually gonna see the new trailer for the Total War Hammer 3. And uh, yeah, this is actually looks pretty fun actually to be honest. Yeah, I just saw it because I feel distracted. I am distracted actually to be fair. But anyway, so yeah, uh, we see a new trailer. It's called The Trial by Fire, which you see here. Fire obviously represents rage, which is obviously represents the god of corn himself. Yeah, we actually see a blood sister, etc. here. And I'm gonna break down the trailer today to see what is happening. What is basically happening in the trailer. And without further ado, let's sing by sing, break it out. The motherland has turned her back on us. Exiled to a wasted land. Brothers and sisters betrayed. Was the meek cling to power? Is it just? Okay, so what do we see right here? We actually see we're actually listening to a monologue of a character, presumably a chaos character, who seems like he is exiled from the Kislev. Now, I didn't read the fantasy before, so I think we might get a faction It's called Exiled. And uh, yeah, so it seems like the Kislev exiled the, per the natives who used to live in this land, and then the Ice King, Queen, rise to power. And yeah, we're actually seeing a uh, some character here, presumably heroes, because he has a bow and he has a mount of the polar bear. What is the person? It's just called polar bear. I don't know. And uh, yeah, we actually see this is chaos warriors, who seems like just normal chaos soldiers. And we actually see the monument of chaos. It most seems like a portal or something. But yeah, we see a patrol. We see a group of hunters who will be. The units for kids leave. Brothers and sisters. And we'll see a lot of people are dead there. I mean, this is the coming of the chaos, obviously. Was the meek 
cling to power? Is it just? Is it justice? This stuff is not justice for them, at least. So we see here, we actually see a uh, uh, chaos undivide lord, aka. Okay. okay, so that's a pretty, that's a pretty exciting shot there. I can't do it. Okay, so we actually see a blood searcher here and a bunch of ravens fight away. This boy here, uh, uh, here's the roar. And yes, he definitely just say hello. Yes, you're healing right. This guy just literally say hello. Wow, he wants you to die. Seems like well, we see. We actually see some more chaos killing scene. And we see this guy get corrupted by the chaos, by the rage he felt being ex being exiled from his land. And here, this is the this is the coolest part, one of the coolest part at least. We see the chaos troops marching, and he is leading them. Do we and uh, yeah, it seems like he can follow the trail, which again is like one of the abilities of heroes from this total war Warhammer Two, where you can basically scout. So pretty exciting stuff happens. So we actually see the monologue, the voice of the, the the voice of the one who is speaking, the exiled one. He is descending into the chaos, and as he said, they are consumed by rage, which basically they fall into corn. And we see the fire burns down the Kisley, basically the village. This is basically racking, sacking, or loop up. You see the statue looks pretty cool. Maybe a potential building for increasing public order or what? I don't know if it's gonna be very similar to the Total Warhammer 2, but I hope it will be the same. And here we actually saw, see some hound, chaos hound. I don't know how to say this, but yeah, we actually also get the mount of the um, chaos demons. This corn demons mainly composed of. We see unfurled blood letters. We see chaos soldiers who seems like they are in corn, but also they are like in black armor. Maybe means that these are just universal chaos soldiers instead of like only like corn or like slanash. I don't even can you, can you do that actually in actual tabletop? I don't think you can. But anyway, and they have the they have their axes on. It's glowing fire. Seems like the hero is running. And we see the riding, the, the mount we see in the first teaser trailer, this polar bear mount. And it seems like we see some sort of vanguard um, mount. I think this is, I think we see a new monster, seems like, with the glowing. Yeah, it's moving, so I cannot get a clear stop to it. And we also see what this seems like to be the knight with the horse, obviously. Yeah, this is some of the monsters. It is so loud, jeez. Okay, so this is my favorite thing. Two armies clash together, and the boom fight begins. And we see a lot of flying, flying demons. Also means they can. Is that similar to her herpes? And uh, I don't know which one is shooting, but it seems like the chaos has, has. But it seems. But it seems like some some artillery is shooting the chaos army. And the chaos also has some artillery shooting at the Kislev soldiers. And we see a lord. We see a chaos lord who seems like a, a, a Warcraft, World of Warcraft character. Why is it here? This doesn't make sense. Rise again. Rise again. This is so cool. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, again, the, the voice descending into the demon hood. Okay, we see the great chaos with great weapons. We also see Juggernaut. Who seems like 
it could be heavy shock infant shock in troops yeah because yeah basically riding and we see a chaos lord here it seems like the chaos and divide will still be a faction here and it's not gonna work as dlc but as a main factions yeah or you can just do this for chaos army obviously we'll see how we see so much chaos troop killing and this is probably the coolest Yeah, let me just stop you there. But anyway, um, we see the kid. We see what's presumably gonna be the mount. Actually, never mind. I think it's just gonna be the monster. Wait, let me just cut you the thing. Yes, the so the ice queen summoned a huge bear. <laughs> I can't believe it's a huge bear, but this is definitely gonna be a monster. I think this monster will become with the ice queen. I don't know because this looks like the Malekith scene from the Total Warhammer 2 trailers where he summoned a Hydra but instead the Ice Queen summoned a huge bear who presumably made uh, made of the rock and the ice with some plants on it. And we see the bl the Bloodsurster who presumably will be one of the warlord for the chaos um, descend from the air. And by the way, just you might think, oh my gosh, you made so much infantry. Well, here's the thing, guys. I know I made a lot of infantry because they don't matter. They're just infantry. I don't think there's anything special for them. I think they will be great weapons, spear, shield, obviously. Your army com collapse the two the, the two monstrosities cl collide together, and it's so tall. Dude, it's like, yeah, so tall. Yeah, and we see we listen to the kid, the bloodthirster speak. Obviously, bloodthirster can can actually talk. They can communicate. And yeah, we see the hero comes again, and presumably this is his. I think I believe this is his bear, or this is the bear. That the asking someone who get defeated, so it becomes the original like normal form of the stuff. Yeah, so I suppose he's just mount. And yeah, obviously this thing is my favorite thing, and you can see the background. Let me just do a little bit of more. This is the background of this scene. I just searched on Google. Basically, this, this is what it gave me. Kind of disappointed, to be fair. I hope expecting expecting something more. But we see the new tower, the corn tower. Obviously, it's huge. It's really huge. We actually also see a uh, blood surge here. Means means this is the god, the corn guard. Now I have prediction. I'm predicting from this scene is that when a chaos faction occupied as settlements they will rise a tower as, as the new their own settlements and then they, they will be like sort of a flag of symbols on the tower representing this this tower belongs to let's say corn or nergo or slanash or zinch one of them basically yeah but this is definitely one of the details and new mechanics i noticed from here and i think i believe most people who watch this definitely notice this so it doesn't need me to say it And yeah, I like the music and a lot, a lot, basically. Yeah, it's so good. And yeah, I hate that they actually put uh, like the what is it called? The end, uh, the end thing there. Like this, this is too annoying. But anyway, so yeah, this is it. And we actually end. We. We listen to the music again. The music happens in the first teaser trailer of the Warhammer Three, which is again I like the music a lot. So yeah, so what do we get? Well, we get some. We will take a look, take a look at some new unit. We also know there will be some first look on May thirteenth. I don't know when exactly, but I think I'll definitely take a look at it. 
definitely yes um yeah and this is basically it so you got actually we take a look at some new units and potentially this is going to be new mechanics the ta chaos tower because again this system was not in during the total warhammer 2 and 1 because it just only gives you a tower or something but yeah um this looks pretty cool i like oh my god yeah don't do this don't do this again but yeah i definitely love the new chaos god system obviously i don't play it yet i'm just gonna presume everything thinking about imagining everything and yeah um this is the end this is another video uh we did a little bit trailer breakdown today because i didn't actually receive it through the gmail which will always include an article with it i actually just look at youtube and find this trailer so yeah i hope you guys are happy with what i told oh my gosh did they, did they just they just sent me the email saying this as a recording it. This is kind of disappointing. But yeah, they only have the trailer, so yeah. But uh, anyway, I hope I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please again subscribe to the channel. If please click like button. That's what I will say. Please click the like button if you like this video. If you want to see more, please subscribe. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll do more breakdown as I receive it. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, let's wait for major things, I suppose, because this is gonna be the most exciting part, I suppose, because we're gonna actually see the gameplay and uh, yeah. But overall, my prediction in the teaser trailer was actually pretty much correct, I'll be honest. Except we actually learned some new factions, possible possible faction, which is what I want, of course, the exiled who this who are not yet become a demon but descending to demons. But yeah, um. And we take a look at some potential new Chaos Lord, obviously. And we see the new monster units for the Kiss Leaves and the Mount, etc. 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 And heroes, obviously. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Stay healthy and also stay positive. Goodbye, everyone. This is an edited, unedited version of the trade break, trailer breakdown. Yeah, I don't have anything to add. Nothing at all. I will see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.